Hello everyone, so here with a new video tutorial. In this video we are going to check our back roll base access control for Dell EMC Power Max. Okay, so the RBAC. Uh, the rule based access control is a method for restricting the management operations that individual users or groups of users may perform on a PowerMax array. So this is for restricting uh, the operations and we have uh, currently we have seven user defined roles that are available with the RBAC. We have the known monitor, a perf monitor, performance monitor, a storage admin, security admin, our admin and auditor. So uh, here we have this image, uh, which I took it from the manual. And here we can see how the, the roles are, are divided. So we have the, the main admin, which is divided into two sections, storage admin and security admin. So uh, this RBAC uh, use case is for scenarios when you want to restrict some access to your users uh, for your storage admins or probably you, for your auditors that they want to check the performance or the or the service level of the storage group so to be in compliance with your customer uh, requirements or probably with some deadlines and this is how it's been composed a storage admin and security admin and from these two main two divisions we have a uh, more granular uh, more granular roles like uh, local replication, remote replication admin, device manager, uh, the performance monitor, and the security uh, auditor. And we just have the, the simple monitor guy, uh, the simple monitor role, probably for your entry entry level technician or engineer that's in your team and you just want him for, for a shadow position or he's in training. So uh, with this kind of roles, you are 100% uh, sure that he is not touching anything sensitive. And as long as this guy is getting more experience, so we, you can elevate this access. So let's move to the to the PowerMax. Here we are in the lab environment. So let's click on the uh, Mozilla Firefox. Uh, we already have the units free for PowerMax. And uh, take a look on this. Um, login here with SMC credential, which is an admin, which it has an admin role. Let's sign in here. This is the units for environment. And I want you to take a look here on, on this PowerMax or 107. And from a storage perspective, perspective uh, let's click on a storage group. And here, as I just log in with uh, admin uh, role, here I have plenty of freedom to perform anything I want. So I can modify, provision, protect, anything. So as you can see here, all the options are open here for me. So I can add more, more lab, uh, sorry, more storage group child. I can, uh, you know, I can do whatever I want here because I have an admin rule. So in this lesson, I am going to show you how to restrict a uh, user and user. So let's click on the settings icon. Let's go to users and groups. Uh, let's create a new local user. Uh, the name of this local user is going to be baby. Uh, description for this local user is going to be uh, suitable access to the system. For the password, let's say password one, and we have to confirm the password here. So here is the roles. So let's just put a monitor. Uh, as this is, as you can see here, we have all the system listed here, and this is going to this user baby is only going to have access to the 10107. Sorry, 0107 Power Max. Let's click on OK. And the user has been created successfully. Click on OK and let's test it. Uh, here we have the save login feature from the web browser. Let's click on done save. I am going to close and I am going to sign out.
Okay. So now let's log in with baby. And password one. So I am going to click here on done save. And look at this. So on this unit free, as you may remember, uh, we, sell, uh, we enable this user to just only have access to the old 107 power max. So we don't have the other system listed here. And uh, let's select it. And when I click on the storage groups, we are going to see that we have a restricted privilege. So here we have all the information, all the monitor information as overall information of the array. And when I go to the storage group, uh, with this baby user, I am going to be able to see the information, but I'm not able to create anything or nor protect nor provision. When I click on any storage group, I don't have the modify but enable to, to perform any action. So this is restricting uh, the baby's uh, user privilege, access privilege. And this is how I test it. So this was a simple overview. Thanks for watching.